Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to answer some of your questions about scanning with the Epson V600 on Silverfast. You guys have been asking me questions through YouTube comments and also uh, through the DMs on Instagram. So for the first thing that I'm going to do here is answer the first question, which is what are the scans? Uh, what do the scans look like between ANR glass and the tray? So for the first one here, I am going to scan uh, this negative, uh, the shot from Tokyo of a fish and crab on top of a restaurant. And over here, I am just going to adjust the, um, the negafix and pick the right uh, color grade for that, which is uh, 400 NC natural color. And here I am going to adjust the midtones up to four and just leave everything at zero and then pretty much scan the photo from here so i'm just going to keep those settings for all three scans and i'll show you guys the results for this so there's nothing here i'm not hiding any tricks or anything like that N not doing any cr crazy color grading or anything like that so yeah just check it out over here here are the results with the anr glass beautiful colors it's also sharp, contrast is increased, it's beautiful. And here's the second one where I am going to use the tray with the ANR glass. Here I'm trying to remove the cover, the top, uh, whatever you call it, plate. Uh, pretty much you'll need to remove that to put the ANR glass on top. And keep in mind when you use this uh, tray, it will not include the film borders. So go ahead and go into Silverfast and everything here is the same settings. And here I'm going to choose the frame. And again, there's no film borders when you use the tray. So I'll go ahead and scan this photo and give you guys the results on this. Now, if you ask me the difference between the two scans, to be honest, guys, there's really not a big difference unless you really pixel peep, zoom in into your photo Again, it's not game changing. And I know there are people out there who are really uptight with their scanning methods and want really the best of the best. But to be honest, the people who look into your photos, they're not gonna stop and say, hey man, you're scanning your photos wrong. Especially those photographers, they're gonna be like, yo, you're scanning your photos wrong. You're not doing the right thing. You're not doing the right method. You should be doing this and that. You should, you're, you're just not doing it right, man. And to be honest, guys, forget those guys because whatever you do with your photos, they're not going to tell which scanning software you use, which scanning methods, what settings you use. Really, no one's going to tell, man. Just share your photo, post your photo, print your photo. No one really can tell. So for this last one here, I scanned it without the a &R glass. And for this one, it's a bit soft than the other two. Again, it's not really a big major difference unless you really pixel peep. Again, you can just get away with any of these methods. So whatever you guys use, whatever preference, do whatever you like. At the end of the day, it's, it's your photo. No one's going to tell you, well, there's going to be people like that. But for me, I prefer it on the a &R glass without the tray. But again, no one's going to go in there and tell you you're doing it wrong. Just do whatever you can and scan your photos and be happy with it. So I'm still getting questions about how to get film borders and I made a video of this previously with the Epson scan software and pretty much you can apply the same method on Silverfast and basically the answer to this question is basically use it without the tray and click and drag the frame and you'll get the film borders. Now the next question to this video is do I need to use Negafix? The answer is no, you don't need to use it. You can pretty much scan your photo and if you wanna do some post work, you can bring it into Lightroom or Photoshop or whatever editing software you use. And to add to Negafix on Silverfast, you can actually pretty much choose different vendor types, different, uh, I guess you wanna call it, presets and pretty much play around with the results and you really don't have to stick with the film type that you shot your photos with. The next question is, what are your settings on Silverfast? So pretty much I scan all my photos on JPEG and I do always 
add negafix to my photos and I also add dust and scratch removal and for sharpening I put less auto sharpness on there and that's pretty much what I do with my photos and if I want to I go on Lightroom to do some edits and for the preference settings I put everything at default I haven't touched anything here the last question to this video is does 120 nr glass fit 35 millimeter film and the answer is yes it does uh, but without the tray so if you want to scan your photos with the glass on top of the glass you can do that too like i do with my 120 film Hey guys, I hope this video helps you out. I hope it answers any of your questions about Silverfast. And if you do have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you have better solutions or better ideas on how to do things, feel free to leave a comment below and let the community know how you do things. And it would help out me and other people as well. And lastly, I did open up a uh, Discord server for Fuji GW690 users. So if you use that camera or even looking to buy one or just want to join a group of photographers who are subscribed to this channel or who follow my Instagram account, feel free to join that channel. It, it is titled Fuji GW690, but I might change it uh, later on. But feel free to join that channel uh, and have a chat with the community on there. And I hope to ha have a chat with you guys as well. And the other thing is, um, I am going to release more videos on this channel, as promised. I hope I can keep it um, going. I do have a lot of videos lined up, so I hope I can work on those as soon as possible and release another video um, later on this week. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for supporting it. Um, and if you're new here, feel free to follow me on Instagram and send me messages there. Check out my work there and whatnot. And yeah, um, again, thanks again for watching this video. All right, guys, see you in the next one. Bye.